first heard about working with Delta Humane Society through Lance McCann. Uh, him and I are friends, and when he asked me to come take a look at the water heater, I naturally just said, absolutely, let's go take a look at it. So today we're going to, we're back over to the Delta Humane Society. We looked at there were two water heaters that were leaking, or one water heater that was leaking. Last week the, the, the water heater was delivered. So they have two pretty big size water heaters, I would say like at least 75 gallon residential water heaters. Uh, and they don't need those the, that, that kind of a capacity anymore. So we, we're gonna replace them with, with one 50 gallon water heater. Uh, they're going to be doing a remodel there, so I'm not too concerned uh, with with fitting them for the long term. Uh, they're really just getting fit for short term to save cost and uh, also just to, to kind of get the wa hot water going. Lance McCann, yes you can with Lance McCann. He's going to be uh, working with me on this. He's donating his time and I'm donating my time. So we're both do donating the labor and I, hook, I, uh, I got them set up so they paid uh, for the water heater, for the material directly, so they were able to save cost. They got my contractor discount on that. So uh, kind of just going out there and helping them out, getting it done. They're a nonprofit, and I know a lot of nonprofits are, are probably going through a lot of tough times, so I've always been a fan of the Delta Humane Society. When I was a kid, let's, anything super special always starts off with that when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I, I love dogs. I've always loved dogs. And I remember going to the Delta Humane Society uh, and just, just to go there and look at them and daydream about having a dog because for whatever reason, I think we're living in an apartment or whatever reason, my mom would let me have a dog. It kind of it kind of rests, it, it, I have a soft spot in my heart because, because I was there as a kid and because I love animals. So uh, it, was a, it was an easy yes. The water heater was delivered about a week prior to us installing it. So we had all the materials staged and ready to go. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we made this as, as efficient as possible and we kind of cut down on as much time wasted. Uh, so having it delivered, pre-delivered was, was an option that we used. Uh, they were in a position where we could do that because they did have hot water already and the water that was leaking wasn't damaging anything. And we started draining that water heater already. So when we got on, when we got on site, uh, we disconnected the old water heaters, got them out of the way. So. Lance is taking off the earthquake straps. He already disconnected the water up front, up top, on this one. You gotta disconnect that, disconnect the, uh, cut the TNP off. Gas is already disconnected on this one. We're gonna lean the water heater back on our, on our arms like this, and then we're gonna grab it from the bottom. Lance says things the dangerous way. I'm going to show them how to do it the same way. United, we stand! <laughs> it works with a lot of trust, Lance. <laughs> but my arm was cranked. <laughs> Back. It makes sense. We, we could actually just go like this. We could do that little uh, a nice shake and none of us going to do this. But that, we're going to drop it. <laughs> Not on me, buddy. <laughs> These water heaters, we, we usually dispose of them at our suppliers. We can dispose of water heaters for you. Um, this particular water heater was purchased at Pace Supply, so we're going to take, take the old water heaters to Pace Supply uh, for disposal started making some changes to the plumbing because we went from two two water heaters to one so there's a couple lines that needed to be capped off and a couple of changes uh, that you just need to get reconfigured that were pretty minor to us once we got everything out we cleaned everything up uh, we got a game plan we we just installed the water heaters uh, connected everything up, put in, put in new uh, water heater straps and supply lines and, and exchanged, replaced some of the basic stuff that we always exchange anyways, and uh, got the water heater in there and, and got a button up. See how easy the air that was? Yeah, I don't know if that would have It is hard going down, it's hard coming down though. The most important thing on the water heater is sizing up the, um, the vent first because you have less options with the vent. Then, then I go with with the TMP because it has to go to a certain direction. So I want to know the angle of that. But I also want to look at where 
where this is at too, where the burner is at, because if you ever had to light it, you don't want it to be turned towards a wall. <laughs> so you want to have that relatively accessible. Also, to make repairs if it ever needs to, this is going to be in the way. So I'm just uh, disconnecting these arms because obviously each one went to two different water heaters. We're converting it to one water heater, so I'm going to just, I don't know which one went to which, so I'm going to figure out the best angle. Um, we might replace this Y. I'm going to just, I'm going to kind of put everything up and see, see what, what it looks like up when it's up. Put the cap up top. It took me a while to find that cap. Apparently, it is not as common as I figured it would be. So we go to three different places. Got it. And um, then connect the TMP, TMP line. Finish strapping it. Put the supply lines in the gas. I mean, almost all of it. <laughs> It'll go by fast. We take the time to to listen to the customer's needs and not just listen to their needs, but listen, look at the situation that's there. They're getting, uh, the Delta Humane Society is planning to, to remodel that whole building. It doesn't really make sense to replace both water heaters. It didn't really make sense to, uh, to put in a high efficient, something really big when there's gonna be a big remodel coming up. And we're able to look at the whole layout of their system and kind of implement something that was more, more useful to them at the moment. Um, they used to have radiant heat flooring and that's why they had two water heaters there. They don't have that anymore, so we eliminated it. It's our job to come up with a solution and it's not always the most expensive one. Sometimes we have to look at, at the customer's needs and, and, what they ha and what they have available to them. And uh, that's honestly what makes, makes plumbing so fun is that everything is different. It's not just the job, but it's the solutions and how we come up with the solutions that make it so fun and enjoyable. All right, so we got it. We just got it lit. Sometimes it, uh, it might take a little while to get the water heater lit because when you replace the supply line, it's, it's full of fresh air. Um, we had a little leak at this little uh, valve up there. I, I bled the line out and it came out good. Um, everything went pretty smooth. Um, outside of the fact of having to find some parts that uh, it was a cap for the vent through pipe that apparently wasn't as easy to find as I thought. <laughs> I thought I'd go to one place and I ended up having to go to three. Um, but that's just the way it is, so it's all done. Everything's good.